Hi, and I'm just going to quickly give you an overview of the history of Ignite and how the um, program started. It's described in its 2011 strategic plan, evaluating the impact of existing genomic medicine programs and ensuring access to genomic medicine in diverse population settings is a priority for NHGRI. To further explore the then current landscape of genomic medicine implementation, NHGRI convened two meetings in June and December of 2011, consisting of investigators from established genetic, genomic medicine centers. These meetings identified exemplar projects as well as obstacles to successful implementation that might be addressed um, by a more structured and sharing of approaches. Some common barriers identified were skepticism, expectations for morbidity and mortality evidence, needs for RV approval and CLIA certification um, to use the actual results, confusion over consent and models for um, counseling, difficulty integrating results with existing electronic medical record systems, the burden of interpreting and the um, following up large numbers of results, and as well as reluctance to adopt novel patient care strategies. Um, Terry went over the goals of the RFA, um, just to give you um, how the RFA started, the concept was brought to our February 2012 council, and we released an RFA um, later that spring in 2012. And I, I won't repeat the goals of the, um, the program. Terry went over that. The first round of projects were funded in the spring of 2013. Mount Sinai is studying a population of non-diabetic hypertensive African Americans to test whether renal care will be improved in patients that receive electronic medical record enabled renal care cl clinical decision support incorporating APOL1 risk information compared with those that receive renal care clinical decision support based on conventional risk information only. Duke is using a cluster randomized controlled observational study designed to test the uptake of their family history uh, family health history tool in primary care settings. And University of Florida is leveraging a personalized medicine program at the University of Florida and Chan's Hospital to expand and implement the use of pharmacogenetic information in the hospital that serves a diverse community and also has a structured genomic medicine education um, effort as well. We then released the RFA again in the summer of 2013 and three more projects were funded in the spring and summer of 2014. Vanderbilt University is performing a multi-site test of hypotheses that integrate genetic data within environments with diverse informatic capabilities to see if it's feasible and um, to see if it can alter the behavior of providers towards a vision of indiv individualized medicine. University of Maryland is um, project was designed to develop, disseminate, and evaluate, including from a payer's perspective, and Tony will um, talk about the meeting that we had a couple of weeks ago um, doing that a sustainable approach to detecting and diagnosing, promoting individualized therapy for monogenic diabetes. And Indiana University is evaluating the impact of implementing a pharmacogenomics program on health economics, as well as adverse events at a large Sinek hospital. And they're using a panel of 14 genes um, with 44 variants. Um, Terry showed um, this map, as you see, we have academic centers as well as primary care clinics and family medicine um, practices all over the country, many in rural areas and many serving um, diverse patients. And you'll hear about that throughout the day, the different um, sites we have, especially in our first talk. We have a wonderful external scientific panel. Um, five of the six members are here today and the um, other member had a, um, he was already gonna be out of town and was not able to join us. Um, Levi Garraway is the chair um, from Harvard Medical School. We have Christopher Shute, Johns Hopkins, Karen Albeck, University of Utah, Bill Evans at St. Jude, um, Katrina Goddard at Kaiser Permanente, and Kelly Orman from Stanford University. The Ignite Network is currently made up of six working and interest groups. I'll quickly just go over the goals for those. We have a common measures group which is identifying the implementation process and outcome measures. Um, they're also developing strategies for measuring processes and outcomes, especially as far as um, genomic medicine implementation, and then catalyzing the synergies across the studies. Um, the dissemination outreach and sustainability group, led by Ken 
Levy, who's at the back of the room, is developing strategies to increase awareness, create internal and external education initiatives to support genomic medicine implementation and design sustainability models. We have a provider adoption and education interest group that's led by Niwa and I don't think Kristen's here, um, to collaborate and share experiences and resources in education on the clinical applications of genetics and genomics and disseminate methods for increasing and assessing adoption of genomic medicine. The clinical informatics interest group is led by Josh Peterson. Um, and this goal is to develop a clinical decision support repository to store and index clinical um, decision support rules and examples of artifacts as well as developing um, agnostic um, EHR, CDS rules, and assessing ways to incorporate clinical decision support without um, alert fatigue. Then we have the Clinical Validity, Utility, and Economics um, interest group is led by Vicki Pratt in the back of the room. This goal is to examine evidence for adding clinically valid and useful variants to genomic medicine panels and gather and submit evidence in support of moving genomic medicine to clinical practice. Then we have our pharmacogenetics interest group who is examining methods for outcomes in pharmacogenetic testing of various drug gene pairs across IGNITE. And I think Laurie Cavallari, I saw her walking in the room. Yeah, she's right at the back on the outer U. Many thanks to the investigators in the night network. We have worked very hard in the last, I would say, two to three years, depending on which sites came in, um, to make it very successful. We've done a lot, and we're looking forward to hearing about your recommendations for what could be done in the future. Thank you. Next, we have Anantha Shakar. He is actually going to talk about what they've done at the Indiana University Health System. And it's actually, we um, heard about it at one of our steering committee meetings. And we're very excited because this is really what we wanted to accomplish through IGNITE, is expanding genomic medicine. So very excited to hear what he has to say. 